No one's asking you in this season of your life to dedicate three hours every morning to the Andrew Huberman perfect morning routine. Today, you're going to learn about practical tools for optimizing your morning routine. But what I'm about to show you is my morning routine. The holy grail of morning routines. I've created the perfect morning routine. At the very end of this video, I'll give you my morning routine. If just tomorrow morning, you make one change to your morning routine, your life's not gonna change. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you that, honestly. You make that change and you do it every single morning for the next three years, you will see seismic change. What you do each morning lays the foundation for how you'll feel and how productive you'll be for the rest of that day, mentally, physically, and emotionally. So you need to be intentional, but keep it simple. Be practical. Do what fills your bucket. Morning routines should be individualized to your age and your stage in life. What works for me may not work for you. What worked for me in my 20s may not work for me in my 40s. What works for a single 32-year-old man that lives in Southern California may not work for a 42-year-old single mother of three in Minnesota. So don't compare and despair and definitely don't get stifled by perfection. You know the best workout program in the entire world? It's the one you do. It's not the one that you pay a lot of money for. It's not the one that you have someone design for you. It's the one you actually do. So I don't believe there is a singular best routine for everyone. I think everyone needs to prioritize figuring theirs out. Life is not a perfect game and there is no perfect morning routine. My advice, do the best you can with what you have, wherever you are. Be kind and be patient with yourself. And keep in mind, the evening routine is just as, if not more important than the morning routine. Morning routine gets all the, you know, all the headlines and all the glamour and it's what everybody talks about on podcasts and on social media, but the evening routine is incredibly important because it's like the chicken and the egg. You know what comes before your morning routine? The previous night's evening routine, yes, exactly. So if you want to prime yourself to have a good morning routine, it's in your best interest to get quality sleep. And how do you do that? You have some type of winding down process. So the most important thing is that everyone listening figures out how they operate best. Figure out how much sleep do you need to operate at a high level. Could be seven and a half hours, could be nine, but you need to know that. Mm -hmm. Figure out you know, how much exercise or what types of foods to eat. So a lot of it will be some initial trial and error. Right. You know, you take somebody like LeBron James. I don't know if the Lakers are playing tonight or not, but let's assume they are. Do yeah. you think LeBron is gonna be walking around the streets of LA at five o'clock going, I wonder what I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight? Of course not. No. He knows exactly what to eat, when to eat it. He has got everything lined up before he, he shows up to the arena to right. play at a high level. Right. Now, I bet you that routine has changed since he was a rookie. For In sure. 20 years, he has figured out some, some oh, tweaks yeah. to make, yep. but nothing is haphazard. So the yep. most important part is to take control of the bookends of your day. Mm -hmm. The first 60 minutes after you wake up and the last 60 minutes before you go to bed. What are the things that are within your control that you can systematically or incrementally just make slight improvements. I'm telling you right now, every person in this room has a morning and an evening routine. My question is, have you designed it with intention and purpose or did you just walk backwards into it? When you have a day where you just feel on fire, you were in the zone, you yeah. felt great, high yeah. energy, you were yeah. thinking clearly, yeah. backtrack for 48 hours and ask yourself, what did I eat? How much did I exercise? What did I read? What did I, like figure it out. And then yeah. you're gonna start to see some trends. Yeah. You'll start to notice when I go to bed at this time and wake up at this time and I eat this for breakfast, I feel more alive. Yeah. Well then do more of that. You know, one of the oldest adages to success is do more of what works do less of what doesn't. Yes. If people would just follow that, nothing else that I said right. this entire conversation, right. do more of what works and less of what doesn't, you will see your performance and your fulfillment skyrocket. Look. Don't make things complicated. Just slowly start to integrate this stuff in. No one needs to completely revamp their entire morning routine by tomorrow morning. And no one needs to dedicate three hours every morning to self-care. 10, 15 minutes on the bookends of your day can be an absolute game changer if you're doing the right stuff and if you make it a priority.